welcome everyone. Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Okay, you guys, you just saw me live yesterday and now I'm live again today with one of our other amazing sales directors, Liz Garcia. Yay! Hey, everybody. Okay, you guys, so a couple housekeeping things. Um, I want to, Tanya and I talked about this last night. So here's the deal. We have a little bit of a surprise for you. We always do giveaways for comments, right? So that's part of this is we love your engagement. We love hearing from you. But today and from yesterday and today, so we had two peek into pink videos, this one from last night and tonight from late. So here's what I wanted to tell you. There's a surprise entry and prize if you stay till the end. Dun, dun, dun. So I want you guys that are watching the replay or if you're watching live, let us know that you're here. And remember, we're always going to do comments for giveaways. But if you stay till the end, we have a special giveaway that we're doing just for your commenting at the end. So I have a question at the end that you have to comment and you're getting into a drawing. So Liz is like, this is so exciting. I, 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 I want to comment. <laughs> She's like, what is happening? I know it's the, it's the anticipation, you guys. Well, I just have to say, first of all, Liz, I'm so excited that we're here to learn about you because I just feel like you are such an amazing human being. And Tanya and I talked about this yesterday, but just how different we all are, right? And how we've all come together to create something really fun and just be able to be together. So you guys, remember, um, first of all, we want you to comment that you're here. And then we wanted to know who invited you. Who's your consultant that brought you into this beautiful extravaganza that we are all loving? Am I right? Like, I'm loving this. I'm loving to see all the customers and consultants. It's so fun. What about you, Liz? It has been so fun. I've been so excited to see everyone comment. I love the interaction. It's the closest we're going to get right now, right? <laughs> it's so funny you say that because I was just on my customer group where we all have private customer groups as consultants because we like to interact with our customers. And I was like, you know, I don't know why, but I'm just going to keep coming on here. And I realize it's because I miss that connection. And Tanya and I talked about this yesterday too. Like, we're such a, a company that connects in person, right? We have seminar, we have co career conferences, we have leaderships, we have weekly meetings that we've always met in person. And now all of us are meeting online. So we're like craving that connection. And so I could tell, right? Can you see that, Liz, that we're all like... Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, and when you're so used to that tribe, you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? And even my kids, because because... It's so different. Like everything's different. When I was in school, I was taught to not be like use my hands. And then my pastor wants me to do a video and he's like, use your hands. And that's all, I, everything's flipped right now. And like my kids are used to being out in the stores. So they haven't been out anywhere. I took them out. I took them out last night. And Jasmine, she's four. She pointed when she saw kids. She's all, mom, look. Like if it was, I was, I, I was like, this is just, it's so hard. It's just so hard. It to is. Video, you know? <laughs> No, I get it. Like I took, I never take my two year old anywhere either, but there was a Hobby Lobby sale and you know, your girl had to get this glitter is my favorite color. You know who told me about this too, Liz? Christy Hunt told me about this. She sent me a picture and she's like, Robin, you need to go get it. And I was like, okay. And I was like, dang it. I got Luke. So like I get, you know, I get my mask on. I like wipe down the cart and he's like in the store. Mama, ooh, ah, like point, and people are like, "What is wrong with your kid?" I'm like, "He hasn't been, he doesn't get out much." Sorry. Yeah. Well, I know it's hard. I know, I know, it's definitely hard. But I've been, we've been trying to connect, and like, we are blessed that we're we have family, so we've been just staying close with our family. So I totally get that. So speaking of kids, Liz, tell us about like, give us a little snippet, like a couple minutes about who you are, what your life looks like outside of Mary Kay. We know you're a Mary Kay sales director, but who else is Liz Garcia? So um, I am a child of God and I'm a wife and I'm a mom and um, my kids are now four and eight. Um, Isaiah was about a year and a half when I, when I dove into Mary Kay for real. Um, but I have, this journey has been kind of crazy. My spiritual growth um, has mm -hmm. the, the support and the the priorities of this of this business has helped me in my personal life and we've been in tucson now 11 years so we're from california we're dodger fans <laughs> we're having it's like we're having um we're having like like a hard season right now because we couldn't we didn't have a spring ball for isaiah so 
that's another, like, we're used to, like, being, like, the sports parents, and so it's been a little bit, it's been a little bit of a change for us, too, you know, but, yeah, that's just, we just, we just like to have fun, our, you know, we're just, we're very family-oriented, and, um, and so, but we're, we're just, we're just simple people. We like we're home. We're home people, but we're also like let's do stuff. <laughs> I love that. Well, and so I apologize for the two year olds you just heard screaming yes. for everyone. This is real life. Like this is how we run our lives. I mean, honestly, it's it, it's like we're professional, and then now we're stuck at home. It makes it actually makes me feel less like because like I have to like lock my door, and even still, I'll still get the little doorknob twist. So it makes me feel like so okay, much good. Better. <laughs> You're good. And for those of you watching live that are like, how can I be a mom and run a successful business? Well, that's how. You give yourself grace. And you know something you said, Liz, that kind of triggered me? You said, like, when you were a kid, you were taught this, and now your kids are taught this. You know what I believe that we're starting to teach our children is to be authentic. We're teaching our children not to just be sit, sit there and be seen and not heard. We're teaching our children confidence and and being polite and respectful but also to be authentic i think that word is not something that maybe we grew up with or our parents grew up with so with our children they're being taught hey this is who you were created to be be your best you yes. right yeah and so i love that that's what our kids are learning that's what we learn in mary Kay. is like i learned that i get to be robin more mary Kay, and nobody's like robin stop being so loud or stop being so extra or don't be so tall. Well, like, I can't help that. You know, like, all the things, you just get to be you. So I love that you shared that. And, like, do you feel like Mary Kay's allowed that for you to just use your strengths? You know, in fact, that's so funny that you even brought this up, like, that you saw that. Because before Mary Kay, so if you are watching and you knew me, like, I didn't do any makeup. And if I did, I have four, there's four girls. I'm the second oldest of the four. There's eight kids. So I'm from a big family. And if I, when I was an adult, I was, I didn't wear makeup, but when I started to try to play with it in my early twenties, like my sister would say like, oh, are you going to a wedding? Or like, I had to do something big just to put mascara on or lipstick. So that like just shut off my desire to do makeup. Fast forward mm. Mary Kay, I didn't start Mary Kay till um, I was in my late twenties. And so when I started putting makeup on, um, like nobody said anything, right? So then I started like playing once I, it took me a while, but once I started playing with makeup, like I was really trying to find out who I was. And I think that's kind of where my beginning of my Mary Kay journey was. And I, I would even say, even now, I would say in the last six months to the last year, I've been really like, okay, I think I'm, I think I'm like, I need to, it's, it's really been a, cra it's crazy how much you grow, I guess is what I'm saying. Well, I've and no, so yeah. And I think that's so powerful because I think that in, the reason we talk about self-growth in Mary Kay is we're encouraged to figure out who we are, to figure out what our journey looks like. Nobody says, hey, here's how you get to the top or here's how you're successful. We say, does success look like you, for you that you get to work as much as you want, as little as you want? There are women, I just met, I just heard about a, a pastor's wife who literally became a Mary Kay sales director so she could pay for her husband's church. Like, what does it mean for you? Like, and you know, for sometimes I feel like, wow, I'm selfish. Like I, you know, like, but it's not, it's everyone's journey is different. And Mary Kay's a vehicle for everyone differently. And I see some women on here saying like, she goes, that's my every day as a mom of four. Trust me. Like one of our top directors in Mary Kay is like, she's got like six kids. And I'm like, I, I don't even know. Like, but we all figure it out. Right. We're, that's just who we are as women. And so Liz, I heard you also say something I want to trigger on real quick. So you said when I really started Mary Kay. So I think people may not understand our company because here's what's different about us. We don't have territories. We don't have um, like requirements or quotas. So oftentimes, and I'll speak for myself, when I started Mary Kay, I started as a sleeping beauty. And I called myself that because I looked better, I smelled better, but there is no way on God's green earth I was gonna tell anybody I was using Mary Kay. I mean, I was 20 and Mary Kay was for old ladies, you know? That was like my theory. I was like, mm, ain't nobody gonna know this is Mary Kay on my face. I will, but you know what I realized is that was so much more about me than it was anybody else. And so when I started it, like really people are like, well, how long have you been in Mary Kay? Well, I've been in Mary Kay for about eight years, technically. The first four years I, I stayed because of how I felt around the women. 
I never really sold any product. Like accidentally I sold stuff and I was like, oh yeah, here's the mascara I use. Yes, it says Mary Kay on it. Like I would be scared to sell. And then I really decided to go for it. So tell us a little bit about what that journey was for you because I think that's really common for a lot of us. We don't come in here saying, yay, my name is Robin Moore. I'm gonna earn you know, this much money in Mary Kay. I'm gonna earn four free cars by the time I'm 30 and I'm gonna work from home and no longer be in corporate America, right? Like that was not it at all. So tell us a little bit about your story. So I already kind of shared who kind of who I was before Mary Kay. Right. So I was a high school math teacher and I was working three additional part-time jobs. Okay, so as women, when we want something bad enough or should I say need something bad enough, we will figure it out. So if you want that pair of shoes or you want that sign that's on your dresser, you, I mean, you took, you took look out. I mean, when we want something bad enough, we will do it, right? So I never used quality products before Mary Kate, like never. So when people say this is the best eye makeup remover, yeah, I love it, but I honestly don't have any other eye makeup remover to compare it with, you know? So like, I just know, but I do know, even though I, I mean, I clean my face, obviously, but I still wasn't even at the level I should have been at 29, I think is when Mary Kate found me, but I love the products on my skin. And I was, and I was like, you know, I had to like, I thought I was going to have to do some like convincing to my, my husband now. And he's like, no, we want to do, go for it. Like, like he's so supportive. He's like, go for it. And he goes, if it's going to, if it's going to save us money. And I figured I, I would get like, I would either like, I say half, you know, like I'm a math teacher. Like that's a no brainer. Why doesn't everybody do it? So I just literally signed up for the discount, but coming over here, this is when I signed up. So I, I moved here in October. I was in a new teaching job. It was totally new. All my hours were taken, lesson planning. I didn't have any friends. So when Mary Kay came into my life that following summer, and then I signed up, um, I, it was like my instant group of friends and the support, the sisterhood. Um, I even went to, you guys, I even went to all the seminars, all the Mary Kay events just for the, like, the, mm. the community of women. And I loved it and I fell in love with it, but I never thought it could be for me. I, I always thought it was a cookie cutter. Only certain people can be successful in Mary Kay, even after going to all these things. So I did it for just um, for just a fun discount, but I like her stuff. So Christy Hunt is my senior, and she's so amazing. And I hope everyone has a mentor like her because she's so smart. She knew I liked to win, so she would say like, "I if you go and share the skincare with five people, even though I never held the party, you guys, I was not a smart worker in my business back in the day. Like I would go and meet and do five different appointments." Now I won't do that. Now, now I will go like one appointment. You all come to me. Like, but I was doing like a lot of work, like for like, you know, anyways, it's free. I, I didn't care. So I was like, whatever, just give it to me. And so, um, the funny thing is I built my business by accident and had built customers. And then, um, when life happened, my husband's an electrician and construction world, there's either lots of work or no work. So Isaiah was it. And, oh, Okay, so I'm gonna back up, I'm sorry. So Mary Kay had found me um, 10, 10 years ago, I guess, it's it's been 10 years. I was sitting on the couch. Congratulations. Thank you, I was sitting on the couch, summer break, planning a wedding, planning my, my, my school year, and I was like, I was still finding time to watch TV. You guys, can you relate to like being so busy, but you still find time to do nonsense? And I was literally, <laughs> I say this because I don't know if I was praying or if God, you know, if, if, if it was, I don't know. I was sitting there thinking there has to be more to life. Like literally, mm. I remember this conversation like from a long time ago, like that said, I feel like I'm wasting my time here sitting on the couch when my husband was at work. And then wouldn't you know, that's when I got the email for the free facial. So I went with it and then I enjoyed the product. And then fast forward, my husband loses his job and I was like, I was already telling him like, oh, I wish I could stay home. But if you guys understand, you guys are all in this world. You, it's very hard to live off of one income on a regular, you know, paying job. And so I had to work. There was no way around it. And then even though more than half my paycheck was going to daycare and you guys like seriously, my mortgage or daycare was more expensive than my mortgage. Like it. Like daycare is no joke. And we're in Tucson. Like my family's from California. So their daycare bills are even higher. So yes. like, 
I was like, you know, there has to be a better way. And then when it's like, I really feel that God led me to Mary Kay, not just for the products, not just for the sisterhood, but for the spiritual growth. Now, now that I'm, mm. now that I'm growing more, I feel that that's what I was led to do because, um, this is the thing. I, again, I only do what I have to do, right? Mm. I signed up for Mary Kay because I couldn't afford it. I had to, I had to sign up. To talk because to you need the discount because even with the discount it was tough you guys even with the discount it was tough but i had a, but I, that was my way to do it right was to get the discount i talked myself into it and when my husband lost his job i had to do mary Kay as a job it was the first time it was over four years maybe four and a half five years i had never wow. held a job, never not one time just did it for the discount grew my business by accident but i really had i, I was lucky enough to have the skills I don't know if that was a, you know, what, what, what that means, but I jumped into it and I only had five to 10 hours a week and to work. Christy taught me how to put that around my schedule. She goes, I love that. so Mondo took care of Isaiah all day long, you know, while I was working less than planning. I mean, I still took care of him, but he was like the main person. Um, and so it supplemented his income. And that's when, I think that's when that whole cookie cutter thing, like went out the Shifted. window and I thought, I thought, Huh. When I do Mary Kay like a job, it pays me like a job. It's so simple. If you were to go to your job and say, oh, I don't feel like going in today. Or, you know, if you don't show up, you're not going to get your paycheck. Whether it's in a week, two weeks, or every month, however you get paid. That's how Mary Kay works, I found out. Even for people like me who, who don't necessarily aren't the makeup, you know, queens or whatever. Right. And so, like, this is our pH lip balm. Like Ooh, I love that. So you're just keeping it simple. Okay, so real quick, before we go forward, I have to I have to kind of hit on a couple things. So a couple things I heard you say that I think are super powerful. So first and foremost, you said that if women want something bad enough or need it, we will find a way. And I just got this example. I listen to a lot of podcasts. I listen to a lot of sports podcasts, which is weird. But there's this sports guy who he's a trainer for like the top NBA athletes. And he said... If I told you that if you were to read 10 minutes a day that you'd be guaranteed to get $2 million of income, would you read 10 minutes a day? Everybody's like, uh, yes. And so he said, would you need to put an alarm? Would you need to remind yourself? And he, they're like, no, I would know that if I need to read 10 minutes a day. So he said, so there it goes. Priorities. If something's a priority, you will make it happen. Well, yeah. why is it a priority? I think there's two reasons things are a priority. One, because you have to. It's a need. We got to feed our children. We have to pay our bills. Like that's a need, right? Or you have this deep, deep, passionate reason. And we call that our why. There is something deep inside you that is pulling you every morning to get your feet out of bed and to go drive for something bigger than yourself. And I really believe that as women, we have some of that stuff, but it's real deep. And I think Mary Kay is those things like it took us a little time, right, Liz? So it like it slowly inched its way up and then it finally came out and we were like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is our passion. This is our why. And for you, it became a really great need. But what I love about that, Liz, is you are so smart because Mary Kay was that pink parachute. I love calling it the pink parachute, especially right now. I have met <laughs> hundreds of women who have said, Robin, if it were not for my Mary Kay business, we would not be surviving right now. Okay. If it were not, oh, I mean, and they were very, like you said, very personal use, very doing it for the discount, but now they have an option. Mary Kay gives you an option and don't you want a lifeline of something who would have ever thought we would be in a pandemic in 2020? Not me, not anybody else. So having that lifeline, you have, there's no loss for you. Like you said, you get a discount, all of that. The other thing that I love that you shared is that your husband is in an industry that's feast or famine, right? Which in all reality, most industries are like that. It is true, right? Like, so most industries, you're either feasting or you're, you're, you're struggling, right? So you have to get creative. I work with a lot of business owners and during different times and different seasons, there's an up, but then there's always a down, right? And so what's crazy about our business is we are, and this is not a Mary Kay thing. It's not a Robin Moore thing. We are the top three recession proof industries in the world with tobacco and alcohol. And then there's us, right? Like, 
There ain't no yeah. feast or famine. Like it's consistent. Right. And let's be clear. Y'all are buying your mascara and your lipstick and the things that make you feel good, whether you like to or not. Like, or if you can really even afford it or not, we're making it work. Right. Yeah, we're trying to get a discount. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I love that. So, and one other thing that I heard you say that I have to hit on that. I don't even think you know how brilliant you are. Um, this is why I love you, Liz. Cause she's like, Rob and I talk a lot. I'm like, I know. And I love that about you because that's exactly who you are. And I don't want you to No, we don't need to apologize for that. Right. But she said, I had skills that I applied to Mary Kay. So I want to ask all of you as women, do you have skills? Do you organize a household? Do you have a corporate job? What are your strengths? Because whatever your skills are, I promise you, you can bring them to Mary Kay. Liz was lucky enough to have teaching skills. I had none of those. I'll just be real honest with you. I do not have, I did not have teaching skills. However, I did have skills with people. I was good with people. And if I could learn about something, I can learn it really quickly and move forward. Right. So we have different skills, but that's what made me successful in Mary Kay was my skills, not Liz's skills. Cause I'm not a teacher. So that's what I, what are you coming to the table with? Like right now, I want you guys to comment some things that you're really great at. I know this is the hard part. Let's brag about ourselves, but I'm telling you, please brag about you. Tell me your skills because I think that's what Mary Kay does is it brings up our skills and it makes us that much better. And we really like to focus on our strengths and say, how do we use our strengths to get us to the next point? So Liz, I literally don't think sometimes you know how brilliant your mind is. Like, <laughs> All these things you said, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so right. Like, oh my gosh, this is what it is. So, okay, Liz. So with all of that and with your husband and you figuring it out, right? Now in your life, I know things have probably changed up and down, but now you have two children, your work from home mama, and she does this y'all with her kids full time. Like I was with her on a Zoom the other day and I'm like, your kids are just sitting there. She goes, oh, I trained them. <laughs> She's like, I'm a teacher. I trained them. And so- for the homeschool mamas, maybe some of the people that are at home with kids, what's some life advice you can give them that maybe Mary Kay has given you? Because like you talked about, Christy taught you how to plan your time around what you had. So now the same thing's happening. So give us a couple life hacks, like one or two life hacks that you're using right now. Um, I am getting up most days. I'm not doing it every day, but most days I'm getting up and having some quiet time. And I'm, I'm back at exercising. My husband and I had a uh, weight loss journey. And so when you have your mind ready for the day and you're physically, you know, and you're, you know, you don't have to eat perfect, but if you're just, if you're just taking care of yourself and keeping yourself healthy, not just physically, but also in your mind, that definitely, especially when you start the day with like some worship music, oh my gosh, does that, that's such a better morning for my kids, even just to start than if, if it's just quiet, because, you know, I don't know why, but that worship music just, it said, and because then because the kids love it, they know the words, so then they sing it, and we're all happy, and you know, life's all great, you know. And then someone stubs their toe, you know. But but before that, you know, like that that's one thing that's been that's that I try to remember because I'm not perfect, and I definitely don't do it every day. Um, uh, you know what? I don't know. Just just keep keep going. You know, God gave us God gave us a reason to be here, and just trust that you're in the space that you're at, and that's something that. That was never something I would say I was, I was, I was, I was always wishing I was in a different season of my mm. life. Right now, I was just sharing this in Bible study the other day. And right now, you know, through my relationship growth with Jesus, now my, my thing is I love my season right now. And I'm trying to take it in, you know, I'm still the mom who will yell at her kids, whether they're doing wrong or I'm, I'm like emotionally stressed or whatever, right? Because whatever, but I'm also the mom that it's like, I love this season. I love my kids at this age. And I just want to freeze time now. <laughs> Girl, but, I'm with you. But I think that is a gift because I do feel like most of my friends are the same way. They're like, oh, can't you wait for him to be this? And I'm like, no, I have enjoyed every moment. And I really think that comes from, I really do believe our Mary Kay journey, like being able to enjoy where we are because we are living every day with purpose. Yes. When you live every day with purpose and you're not sitting on the couch thinking, there's got to be more to this life than what I'm doing. I, I think it comes from the wins because mm. I say this because the choices that you get in this business, it's not just flexibility day to day like any other direct selling business. Okay. Let me, let's be real here. Yes. That, yes. Every direct sale, you have options. But what I love about Mary Kay is the choices that we have 
to do as much or as little as we want in any season of our life. So when, before I was a mom, when I was a new mom, and now like I have choices of how many hours I want to put into my business. And even when I, when I stepped down and wanted to, to not do Mary Kay as a job and just take care of my customers that I had and not, and not do anymore, God yelled at me. That was when I had a C-section with Jasmine. I was planning to take that season off like completely really and god has another plan for me because what happened two weeks after she was born in an unplanned c-section he loses his job again and luckily i had my inventory mate was able to do calls from the couch pick up they got to pick up and see her it was so cute it was such a cool community because your customers aren't just your customers they become friends and part of your life and it was just it was it was kind of surreal and then and then choosing you know i would say a couple of years ago when my aunt passed she always she was always trying to better me like when i was in my early when i was probably early 20s when mary Kay found you she'd always take me to these seminars these leadership growth but you had to pay a lot of money for those things and mary Kay's all free but i when she passed i i would reflect i was reflecting on um i was reflecting on how much she just wanted me to help not just me but she wanted everyone to just be the best us that God wanted us to be. And so that's when my brain shifted. And I was like, you know, when you make, you know, when, you know, when you, when a, when a woman makes a decision, there's really no stopping her. Yeah. So that was kind of when everything flipped and what a blessing because we debuted again last year and then, um, and then the pandemic hit and guess what, what happened to my husband? He was out of work for an entire month. But guess what? It was the first time we've been together, you guys, like over 18 years. And it was the first time any of us had lost our job where we didn't have to freak out because of my Mary Kay uh, blessing that we have here. We got to enjoy my husband at home. That's so beautiful, Liz. Like, thank you for sharing your story. You're such a great storyteller. Do you know that? <laughs> Like, I know that, like, I think sometimes it's so funny in Mary Kay, we're the opposite. Like, if we think there's something, a challenge with us, someone else will tell us that's such a gift, right? Like, I think it's such a gift the way you share. And whose heart was just touched by that? Like, for me to go from, like, him losing his job, being devastation, to now losing his job, and it's a joy. Wow, talk about perspective change. Talk about life changing. So, you guys... I want to ask you, I'm going to go over a little bit about our Mary Kay world. And some of you are like, how do we even, what does this even look like? So I'm going to go over the options. And then, but while I do that, I want to ask you, if you were ever in a million years, and let's be clear, we don't, not telling you all to do Mary Kay, but sometimes Liz and I are like, wait, why doesn't everybody? But it's fine. We need customers too. We love you. <laughs> we need our customers. But in a million years, if you were ever to do something like this, tell us what you would love most. Like, what's the thing that you're like? That sounds like something I would love. Like, you're like, this would be my, exactly, like, love, what would you love? So a couple of things that I wanted to share is how to start a Mary Kay business in different seasons. Like Liz, and Liz just shared such a beautifully, like, way she broke that down. So there are options to start our business right now. You have three options. Um, the first one is at $30, which is insane. And then a $100 starter kit, which is when you get all the stuff, like Liz was talking about. You can see it behind her. You get product, you can share with people. It's amazing. Can you guys hear my two-year-old in the background? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, great. All right, great, awesome. And then the last one is the my favorite one, I'm gonna be honest, because I'm a girl that like, I don't, like if there's a sale, I'll buy all of it, not some of it. You know what I mean? Like I'm getting all of it. That's just how I roll. So, so $130 gets you the full physical starter kit, which that bag, I don't know where mine is, is the most beautiful bag on the planet. I'm just gonna tell you, I'd buy a $100 bag for that. I'm just gonna throw that out there. And then you get the $30 e-start, which gets you a free website and free merchant services for a whole year, which is usually gonna cost you 70 to $100. So what is that? That's like a $500 value for 130. Yeah, well, cause I mean the product, that's just in product too, because yeah. the bag and all the supplies is a good fight. You know, I'm, I'm gonna be real. If they allowed us to buy it again, as a consultant, I would just do it again every year. <laughs> I'm like, well, I was like, the $30 e-start, I was like, that. I had girls going, can we do that? I'm like, I know. Like, it's so fun. So, yes. Okay. So, I still want you guys to keep commenting what you love most. And then I want to share with you the ways that we do a Mary Kay business. This is what sets us apart, I think, from any other company, is there are a lot of ways to do Mary Kay. I call us the shab shabby, I can't speak today, savvy shoppers. 
We're the ones that Liz and I were like, hey, here's the deal. We got a product we like. There's no territories. There's no quotas. We don't have to do anything. I'm going to just get it for myself at 50% off and live my best life for the rest of my life. That was just my theory. Like for the rest of my life, I'm going to pay half. If I told you right now, your favorite store, you get 50% off for the rest of your life and you have to pay $30, y'all are, right? All of you are running. We're all, yes, I know. It's like the opposite. We are all running to do that. And I'm telling you, you can buy more expensive and you can buy other products. But I will tell you, I'm not like Liz. I've researched every product on the planet. And Mary Kay is the best product for its price. I have tried the highest of high brands to the lowest of low. And I will never ever stop using Mary Kay because it is the best product with the best price point ever. I'm just being real. Like so, so much so that I never discount my product because I believe our retail value is phenomenal. Like we are crazy good comparison. Anyways, you're going to get me on a tangent, but savvy shoppers. And then you got the girls that are like, Hey, Robin, I don't really know what this looks like, but I need extra income right now. I could take a hunt. If I could not leave the house and make money right now, because that's what we're doing, right? I need an extra $100 a week, $100 a month. How can you help me do that? And here's the best part. You have a mentor that's going to show you that, right? If that's you, you need to raise your hand and say, yes, girl, I'm in. And then there's the ones of you that I have met. I have an offspring that this is her. She came into Mary Kay because she wanted to be a boss babe. She wanted to replace her current income. She's an engineer by trade and wants to is leaving her career to do a Mary Kay career. Like that's what she wants. She wants to be a boss babe, a work from home mama, and that's her mission. So you have all three options. Whoever you are, you get to make that work. And then that's just it's just a simple decision, right? It's a thirty, hundred, or hundred thirty dollar decision to then pick which way you go. So last but not least, this is where you guys are gonna get more drawings. Okay, so we're gonna do a specific drawing. From yesterday's peak into pink and today's peak into pink for those of you that comment your number okay and so for those of you that are like what is my number so if you're watching live or the replay I love to say this so if Mary Kay if you were to ever do Mary Kay in like any reason at all even if like what I said just to be a savvy shopper on a scale of one to five one being Robin I would rather eat a green fuzzy worm than ever sell Mary Kay which I'm gonna let you in a little secret I was a one for like ever. I literally would have put a green fuzzy worm in my mouth before I did this. I just want you to know that very clearly <laughs> I was. And maybe you're a five. Maybe you're the girl that's like, uh, this is the, like, duh, why not? I'm in. Put your hand up and you're like, yes. yes. You're like, uh, I'm smart. I'm a teacher. I, I'm, I know what life is like right now. So for you teachers, y'all hands at a five, right? So on yeah. a scale of one to five. Comment your number, and that's how we're going to do the drawing. The extra drawing is based on you putting the number. And here's the deal. All we want is your honesty. That's all we ask for because we are a company that we, we learn and grow based on the feedback of our customers and our consultants. Mary Kay is all about the feedback. Like, I will tell you so many products we have because of, Mary, uh, because of our consultants, because of our sales force. So just know that we appreciate you and thank you guys for watching live or on the replay. And if you guys have any questions, comment them below. Yes, we've got one. Yes, girl. Kelly's over here. Yes, thank you for sharing, Kelly. Love it. Love it. And Liz, I just want to affirm you and thank you for using your gifts the way God accorded courted them for you, right? You are a woman of such integrity, such intelligence, and you are a blessing to those you're around. And you love to continue the skill in teaching. And I love that you teach all of us. You teach your customers. And you are just, honestly, I love that you are a talker. I love that you share. And I know that you always say, Rob and I talk a lot. I love that about you. It's a gift because people want to converse with you. You're just such a relational human. And I'm so grateful that we've done this together. And I'm just grateful that we get to be Mary Kay sisters. Me too. I'm so excited. You do such a good job at this. Like, one of these days she's going to have to host me. And I'm so glad that it worked out. I am so glad too. I know I love this. I just love honoring the women. And I love sharing your stories because I think we all have stories. And I think our stories need to be shared. And I feel like you do such a great job. So thank you so much. And thank you to those that are watching. We love you all. We're super excited you're a part of this extravaganza. And we will see you tomorrow for some super awesome stuff. I'm making you cry, Liz. Sorry. You are. But you're making me laugh, too. So Okay, good. It's like a good mixture. Is there a laughter, tears, or...
Okay, good. I like it. So, but really tomorrow, Liz, we're going to show them some new stuff. We're so excited. Okay, stay tuned. Be with us live tomorrow. Bye, you guys.